Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today we are going to be doing a bullet journal essentials video. And don't forget to stay hydrated. Alright, so let's start off with my essentials. These are the things I need no matter what, and I absolutely love every single one of them. So to start, I have three brush pens. First we have this Pentel Fude Touch Sign Pen. I absolutely love this. This is my go-to pen. It's really good for everything, and it's a medium-sized tip. And here we have the two Tombow Fudenosuke pens. They're in a large and a small and I love them just as much. All right, coming up, we have this gel pen. This is my absolute favorite gel pen. It's from Pilot, it's called the Pilot G2 pen. It's in 0.38, and it's just a really nice gel pen. Coming up, we have pencils. These pencils are just random pencils, but I absolutely love them. I have this one and the Ticonderoga one. And remember, you can get all of these supplies. They're just linked right down below. This eraser is from Pentel, it's the High Polymer Eraser, and I love it so much. It's such a good eraser, I definitely do recommend. All right, so up next we have the Zebra Mile Liners. They're super nice, mild highlighters, so they're not so like bright and like in your face. Um, they're dual tipped, so they have a bullet point and a chisel tip like every other highlighter does. And they're just really, really nice pens. I definitely do recommend, I'll have them linked right down below. I got the 10 pack with the pastel colors and the classic colors, and my favorite are definitely the classic colors, so I do recommend getting them. Please, please, please do, they will be so useful. All right, we have our last three essentials left. First up is sticky notes, obviously, they're super nice for jotting down notes that you'd want to take, so I really do recommend having some or just some scrap paper. Next up, I have these titanium scissors from Westcott. They have this really sharp tip, which I really, really like. So they're really precise and they're just really nice scissors. I'm just using the ruler to measure them. They're only five inches long, so they'll practically fit into any single pencil pouch. Lastly, we have the handy dandy ruler. Any ruler will work, but I'll have mine down below. It just really helps make straight edges in your work, so I do recommend that as well. Let's take a water break. Let's move on to the fun stuff. These are things you definitely don't need, but they're really nice. So first I have the Crayola Super Tips. These are really nice for color and they can be used to draw anything. These markers have a pretty small tip, but it's also really fine, so you can use these for calligraphy, crayolligraphy. <laughs> Alright, these definitely expected these are the tombow duo brush pens everybody talks about them but they are so amazing you have to try them at least once in your life they are really fine at the tip so they can make really small lines but they also make really thick lines in that contrast oh my god they're just so amazing so i got the pastel pack because i feel like they had a pretty nice assortment of colors and judging by the title they are dual tips so they do have a bullet tip and a brush tip so you can use them for outlining as well as calligraphy. So I sped up this next part of the video because these are really hard to explain, but these are just stickers and patterns slash color swatches that I've collected from my sister or from books throughout the years. Most of them don't have anything left, so they're just the last little bit that I want to finish using. On the top 
topic of stickers, I have this sticker book from Walmart that I got during the school supply shopping season. They have a lot of variety of stickers. They are again pastel because I feel like they fit anything in my bullet journal. Next up, we have these items I would categorize as adhesives. First up, we have this tape roller from Duct Tape. It's just like any other tape roller, they just dispense double-sided tape. Next up, our glue stick. I use this pretty often along with the tape roller. It really depends on the material I'm using. Say, if I was using paper, I would use the glue stick, and if I was using something plastic-like, I would probably use the tape roller. Of course, we have the mini stapler. Something really cool is that this stapler also has hot pink staples. I have this correction tape that is really nice since I do use my Pilot G2 gel pen quite a lot in my bullet journal so I do make a lot of mistakes and this just helps cover up those mistakes. Next up, some of my favorite things in the world, stamps. I have this really cool stamp that says Handmade with Love By. It's from a brand or company that's called Girl of All Work. It's super nice to stamp on things that I made that I want to give to people. Not necessarily for bullet journal, but I just wanted to include it because I love it so much. So these next stamps, you've probably seen some people use them. They're these calendar stamps. They're really nice, I got them on Amazon, and once again, they'll be linked right down below if you want to go get them. I forgot to put these on the table, but these are post-it tabs and they're really, really nice for bookmarking any pages in your bullet journal. I have this masking tape from Scotch the scotch masking tape. It's really nice for taping anything down if you want that papery look. So I really like this tape. And who could forget about these? Washi tape. This is also from the scotch brand. I only had one to show, but I do have a whole pack. Again, they'll be linked right down below if you want to get them. And they're just really nice for decoration. Alright, we 
we have this clip next. It's a bit hard to explain, but I use it to hold down the pages in my bullet journal, especially since I'm more than halfway in my bullet journal, so those pages in the front need to be held down or else it'll really bother me when I'm working. Alright, so that concludes all the supplies I like to use for bullet journaling, and of course, please make sure to stay hydrated. Wait, I forgot to show you this mug. I spilled a lot of water over my hands while trying to show this, but this mug is from Martha Stewart and I absolutely love it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, please leave a comment down below, and we'll see you next time!